Hey guys, today I'm gonna tell you I will do MTG Finance uh, on this channel, but I would mostly do it on Instagram. I feel like Instagram, I've tested it. I've taken a picture of about like 15 Calvin of Souls and posted it on Instagram, people liked it, and I was like, okay, this is maybe the way to do MTG Finance. Because on Instagram, people aren't like criti critical that you have 15 or 16 or whatever. And by the way, I showed all my Gavin results. Um, and yeah, I'll definitely take you through the trade binder of what I sold. And uh, yeah, that, that would be pretty good because then you, I can explain what I picked up and why I sold and people will like that, right? Supposedly, subscribers. And yeah, so Instagram is gonna be where I'm going to post my MTG Finance pickups and uh, stuff I wanna sell and things of, of that nature. So the Instagram will be in the comments below or in the description. It'll be called Gutless, G-U-T-T-U-L-U-S, I believe is how you spell it. Uh, but I'll have a link below. The reason I think Instagram is a little better for MTG Finance is you don't get as critical of, I mean, MTG Finance is this. I don't like it when people watch an old video of mine that I suggested, let's say, picking up Olivia when she, you know, picking up Olivia and then she spikes at 15 and then I tell her I wanted to sell and then they're looking at this video that has Olivia at, you know, 15 and they're like, oh, well, you know, that's too much for Olivia Roderan. And that's kind of the reason that, in my opinion, MTG Finance is so hard on YouTube is your videos stay there forever. So unless it's a very generic, and generic videos like buy stuff, you know, after rotation, sell stuff before rotation. And by the way, it's already too late to sell your stuff before rotation because the prices have already plummeted. You would be best served if you sold it six months and events, uh, events. And that's just the data, right? So I don't know what people are saying about this, but that's not, in my opinion, all that true. Um, and you know, I it comes down to does this person, I, I'll take a small side. I'm gonna rant a little bit. Does this person actually sell and buy lots of magic cards? Or do they understand, have they actually broke even doing so? And a lot of times when I look at some people's advice, and it's just not good advice because it's so generic. They're like, it's like, oh, well, yeah, that's obvious. Like, what, what are you trying to say? Like, I don't know if you're helping anyone because <laughs> your information is kind of out there and it's been out there for years and years and years and it's not, nothing new. Uh, the speculation I'm talking about is I'm picking a card like Drena, that's, she's the only card I'm picking up from Battle from Zendikar, love her. And I'm saying bye 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 bye. Now there's no confusion about, you know, I can explain why I love Drena and you know, Vampire and Tribal, going back to Innistrad, she's a mythic. Uh, she's five, six dollars, which is really low in my opinion for a mythic vampire legend. And that's a hard spec to make uh, than something like, oh, buy after rotation. Sell before rotation. Don't buy during pre-release. Sell during pre-release. I, I mean, I don't know how helpful that advice actually is. Anyway, MTG Finance uh, Instagram and uh, follow me on Instagram. I'm really pushing my Instagram. Uh, we have a contest that's gonna end at, I think less than 500 more subscribers. Yeah, less than 500. And then you guys get booster packs and a book delivered to you. I believe the 20,000 contest should end by this week. I don't know, I'm at 19,000 something right now. Anyway, bye guys.